Hey, 49 fans, I'm Thomas Mott. Welcome to Chat Sports. Before I get into this brutal and the latest injury news, of course, on Jimmy Garoppolo and George Kittle, we're going to cover that all in today's video. Make sure you guys are subscribed for the latest, not only injury news, videos like this, trade deadline stuff happening also today on Tuesday, depending when you're watching this in the future. Everything regarding the 49ers, we cover it here. We put out videos almost every single day to try to make this the best 49er fan experience possible for the latest news and rumors. So again, make sure you guys are subscribed down below. All right, so you saw the title of this video. You understand how this works. You understand what's going on today. Injury news, injury news, injury news. And not just any injury news, because we've been talking about, you know, listen, this guy gets injured, that guy gets injured. Big injury news. I mean, the 49ers had massive blows to not only their offense, but to their potential playoff chances on Sunday. You know who they are. It's Kittle and Jimmy Garoppolo. Let's break those down one at a time, starting with Jimmy Garoppolo and his re-injured high ankle sprain. So it's essentially, it's the same injury that he had in Week 2 against the Jets, which of course knocked him out not only the second half against the Jets, but then, then the Giants, and then the Eagles game as well. He re-injured it. And that's the problem with high ankle sprains. They're nagging, and they are easily, let's just say again, re-injured. So the timeline here is six to eight weeks, but he could require surgery, which would result in him being done for the year. So six to eight weeks is the best case scenario. Him being done for the year is... I'd say a, a most likely scenario, though, at this point. Again, don't know when they're going to officially say he needs surgery or not. Could be today, could be tomorrow, could be next week. But anyway, when you watch this video, just know at this time they are not sure about surgery just yet. But I'll, I'll, I'll be shocked. If Jimmy Garoppolo plays at any games the rest of the year, I'll be absolutely shocked. This is Nick Mullen's team. He will finish out the season at quarterback. And whether you like that or not, that's what the 49ers are going to have to uh, uh, work with and work around going forward here for the rest of this season. The problem is, is that I think something could be a little bit deeper here. Jimmy Garoppolo's overall career in San Francisco could be over. We'll get more to that here in just a little bit. First, though, here was Shanahan's initial reaction to the Jimmy Garoppolo injury on Sunday night. Quote, I know it was hurt once we saw, once we all saw, and he didn't go back in on, on that one play, but he had a good week of practice throwing the ball, but high ankle sprains linger, so you never know when it's going to affect you. And again, it seems like it just has gotten worse, and the odds of Jimmy Garoppolo again playing in 2020 are very, very slim. Now, the problem that the 49ers have, or maybe it's a, a blessing in disguise that yet to be seen, is that Garoppolo was up and down this year. Now, I've been defending Jimmy Garoppolo for a lot. I said he was injured. I said they don't have any weapons around him. I mean, all the, 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 the usual Thomas Mott defense of Jimmy Garoppolo, which is either true or it's not. We don't know yet, but still, Garoppolo was struggling in 2020, and so people who love Jimmy Garoppolo say, man, you know, he just needed some more help, needed to stay healthy, he would have been fine, and people who hate Jimmy Garoppolo are saying this is good because now you get to see what Nick Mullins has for you, and of course, Mullins started uh, two and a half games, really, if you go for the Giants and then uh, the Eagle game and then half of the Jets game, so he's got a, little, a pretty good sample size of Nick Mullins, I guess maybe more uh, two and three quarters because he played, obviously, in the loss to Seattle. They, they, they aren't able to move the football. Nick Mullins is a very capable backup. That's why I said don't trade him in the offseason because you never know what happens with Garoppolo. And so now they have a very capable backup who is starting, arguably the best backup in the National Football League, at least a top three backup. So it's Mullins' team going forward, and we're going to learn a lot about it, just how, how starter caliber, starter quality Nick Mullins is, obviously, over the final eight games of the NFL season. First off, do you guys even believe in Nick Mullins? I'm very curious how many people are uh, not just excited to see Nick Mullins, but actually believe that Nick Mullins can lead this football team. Type Y down below for yes, type N down below for no. Now, this leads us into the elephant in the room, and that is the fact that Jimmy Garoppolo has no guaranteed money left on his contract. Now, he signed through 2023, but San Francisco could very easily get off of Jimmy Garoppolo this offseason, and he could never play another snap in a 49er uniform. Steve Young um, was kind of hinting at that just a couple of days ago when he said, quote, this looks like a disastrous year. It creates a focus on the one question that you uh, had about the 49ers coming into this year. Can we get a place, can we get to a place where Kyle Shanahan, this innovative offensive coordinator, one of the best head coaches in the league, can find a quarterback that he can trust and just be expansive with rather than protect? And of course, a lot of people who disagree with me on Jimmy, on Jimmy Garoppolo would quote Steve Young here and say, that's right, they're trying to protect Garoppolo with all these play calls instead of expand the offense and, you know, you work the offense through Jimmy G, which again, might be true, it might not, yet to be seen. Now, Stanahan, or sorry, uh, Steve Young continued by saying this, quote, I think that's been the issue with Jimmy. I think that $25 million and a shrinking salary cap with this injury, I just don't know how Jimmy ends up being the quarterback for the 49ers next year. So, will Jimmy Garoppolo be done in San Francisco in 2021? I think that there's a very good chance of that. Now, the problem that you have is if Mullins doesn't play well. So if Mosa doesn't play well, then you don't have the successor to Jimmy Garoppolo already built in on a very, you know, obviously team-friendly, very cheap backup quarterback deal. If Mullins plays well, then you just, you know, run with Mullins in 2021 because he's the quarterback of the future. But if Mullins doesn't play well, what's your option? 
because they're not going to be in the Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields sweepstakes. They already have, what, four wins this year, and they're going to get more. I mean, even though they got Green Bay coming up this Thursday night, we'll talk about that in a second, but still, this is a uh, yet-to-be-seen situation. Do you, do you sign somebody in for ANC? If so, who? There aren't a lot of free agent quarterbacks coming out uh, this year. I mean, Aaron Rodgers, technically, but I mean, they're not going to be able to sign Aaron Rodgers. He'll stay in Green Bay. So this creates a whole issue for San Francisco that I don't know the answer to, and I think that our only option right now is to obviously hope that Jimmy Garoppolo feels better and, and gets better and want to wish the best for him, but it's Nick Mullins' time. And I'm not a big fan of Nick Mullins in terms of being better than Garoppolo, but a lot of people are, and so, you know, hey, he has his chance to prove it, and so we'll go ahead uh, and see what happens. But it looks like there's a very real chance, and Steve Young knows this stuff. He's, I mean, he's as in the, in the know. I mean, he has a lot of connections in San Francisco. Um, it looks like it could be it for Jimmy Garoppolo. Let me ask you, do you guys think he'll play another year in San Francisco, even another game? Type 1 down below for yes, uh, type 0 down below for no. Now, it's all but certain he's not going to play uh, the rest of the year, but almost guaranteed enough. I mean, it is guaranteed. He's not going to play against the Green Bay, Bay Packers on Thursday night. But still, a quick turnaround for the 49ers, both offensively and defensively. And you can bet on either you know, the 49ers, if you feel confident, or the Packers right you could be you could bet against the 49ers with our friends at bet us right now of course thursday night green bay gonna be tough but maybe san francisco can uh, show some heart and battle and win this football game bet on this game with our friends at bet us chessports.com slash 49 bet use the promo code niners 125 get 125 percent deposit bonus whenever you first sign up so again the, the, the season is not over and we've talked about this for weeks it is not over they can still make a playoff push here but and you start winning some football games, so bet on them to win those football games. That way they win, and you win some money as well. Okay, other injury, obviously the George Kittle news. Nothing really um, uh, controversial here in terms of, you know, Kittle's last game. Now, listen, here's the deal with George Kittle. He has a fracture in his foot after the scans revealed that yesterday, and he's believed to be done for the year. So here's the thing with both of these players. They have not but officially been placed on IR as of this video being filmed on Tuesday morning, November 3rd. But the next couple of days, you could see IR for both of them, meaning they free up roster spots, but also they are done for the year. So I, I think Kittle is absolutely done for the year. And this goes on for the, the 49ers have the worst luck. I mean, this year, this is the worst injury luck I think I've seen a team have in a very long time. Philadelphia and Dallas are the only two teams else in the National Football League right now dealing with this many injuries. But Philadelphia doesn't have a lot of star injuries. Uh, Dallas has some star injuries with Dak, but still, they have a lot of their skill players still out there. So San Francisco has been absolutely obliterated. So Kittle goes down. This is a big blow to Nick Mullins just because if you, you, you get the, the, the backup quarterback in there, you want your best receiver, your best target out there, and that, of course, is George Kittle, and it's not going to be so. So that means you would now turn to Ross Dwelly, uh, who showed up late in the fourth quarter of the Seattle game, and obviously Jordan Reed, who's been on and off with injuries and hopefully can stay healthy. If he's healthy, I think he can fill in for Kittle just fine, but it's just it's incredible the amount of injuries that they've had uh, so far this year. Like this video, by the way, if you guys are fed up with the injuries this year, you just, just I mean, I'm, I'm just tired of it. I mean, it just... It's just doom and gloom every single week because a new guy gets put on IR. It's just absolutely ridiculous. So here's the deal. 49er schedule, you see, it's 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 obviously not easy. It's a very difficult schedule coming up. I think you're, you're going to learn a lot about uh, the 49ers on Thursday night against Green Bay. If they roll over and get blown out by Aaron Rodgers, who lost on Sunday, the defense is very porous. I mean, the defense can be beat. Then I think we're going to be uh, looking at a long next couple of weeks. But if they can somehow be competitive, not even win, but be competitive against a good Packer team, then they can... They can have a real shot at at least being a postseason team. And honestly, you want to make the postseason every single year. There's no chance of getting a top five draft pick just based on the other teams that are terrible. So go win. I mean, I mean seriously, just just absolutely go win. And let's just finish on a on an unbelievable note here. You see, the, you see the graphic. These are the 49ers on IR or are headed to IR. I mean, look at this. You want to wonder what happened in 2020. Show up someone this graphic. Garoppolo, Mostert, Wilson, Hurd, Kittle. Bosa, Ford, Thomas, Sherman. I mean, the, the, the graph is going back and forth. It's just, it's it's really incredible. Like, it is really, really incredible that this has been the year for the 49ers. And again, the big thing to say here is it's not over, and they can technically still make the postseason. And honestly, I, I still think that there's a decent chance, 40% chance, you know, 45. You went on, on Thursday night, it's going to go a long way. You guys think that they will, though? Type P down below for payoffs, type, or playoffs, type NP down below for no playoffs. There you go. Listen, I hate that I keep having to come on here and give you guys injury news. I wish we could talk about positive things, like big trades, you know. I mean, the Quan Alexander thing happened, but th this is a lot bigger in terms of the injuries. But we covered the news. This is the news of the day for the 49ers. So hang in there. Hang tough. We'll see what happens on Thursday night. We'll obviously be talking a lot more here in the coming days and weeks. All the time we have for today in the 49ers report, I'm Thomas Mott signing off for the rest of your day.